Well, I'm going to show you something now, and you better keep this secret because I'll be in all sorts of trouble with my family for a thing like this. Uh, when I was a kid, for reasons that was never explained to me, but good reasons, my family was totally against any sort of gambling. So this is very much the sort of thing that my family would never have allowed me to have. And I found this today in <laughs> charity shop, junk shop. It's a Merit Electric Derby horse racing game. And it had a little sticker on it saying that it's broken. And I thought, well, I don't know. It's not very much money. Actually, well, hmm, I shouldn't say that in case one of you wants to buy it from me. It was a lot of money. Oh, well, hang on, you might be the tax man. It wasn't very much money. Um, but it's a rather wonderful thing, if you like gambling and horse racing and such. Um, I haven't looked it up yet to see when it was made. But look at it, it's got to be 1960s, hasn't it? We take the lid off the box. What we find we've got is a race course. There's counters in there for the purposes of gambling. Shocking. And you start off with all of the horses down at that end. And with batteries in it, and I have checked, the motor does work. With batteries in it, you switch it on. And that drives a thingy that fires ball bearings, which knocks these horses. And then when they get to the end, the flag goes up and the horse that gets there first has won the race. That's the idea anyway. Now, as I say, it was marked as broken. And what's wrong with it is there should be a little rubber drive band between the motor and that spindle there. I think all I've got to do is take the motor off and find a little rubber band to go on there. I think that's all I've got to do. I don't know if I've got to get in the back to uh, to do that. But there, what do you think of that? A 1960s horse racing game. Now, what small boy could resist a thing like this? Fantastic, isn't it? But I guess my mum and dad, and certainly my grandmother, would never let me have a toy like this because, of course, it does encourage gambling. And yeah, you don't want to be getting into gambling. Even amongst friends, even just for matchsticks. So that's why I would never have had a game like this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a little drive belt or a O-ring or something. And I'll get this thing running. And who knows, we might, might have some exciting point-to-point -point racing on the electric derby. Aintree, isn't it, the Derby? Yeah.